What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you probably remember a few days ago I have reviewed the Veroman electric kick scooter and uh, despite the fact that it's extremely fun to drive it, uh, legally wise uh, here in Japan at least we are not allowed to use it directly after we pick up from the box. So what I want to uh, do today is to uh, talk with you about what are the regulations and what you have to do in case uh, you want to uh, purchase one of these uh, electric kick scooter and use here in Japan. First of all, of course, you need a driving license. The electric kick scooter is considered as a 50cc uh, motorbike. So if you are not allowed to drive here in Japan, uh, of course, you can't use the electric kick scooter as well. So uh, it means that uh, usually kids, sorry, you can't use it. If, uh, of course, you need the uh, driving license and be considered like a scooter, you need an helmet, so please uh, be prepared for that. And as an electric scooter, uh, you need a number plate. So uh, in order to get uh, the number plate, um, usually here in Japan, when you purchase a motorbike, you receive from the owner a document uh, that is called Hanbai Shomesho. That is the documents that demonstrate you have purchased something from someone. And with this in mind, you go to your city hall and register with your name the scooter that you have just purchased. In the case of an electric kick scooter like this one that usually we purchase from uh, marketplaces like Amazon or uh, even we import from outside like AliExpress, uh, well, we are not, uh, we don't have in our hand this uh, by Shomesho, this document. So there are a couple of things that you can do. In case you purchase here in Japan from someone or some companies that are selling through uh, Amazon, for example, please request uh, to them if they can uh, provide you uh, this uh, documentation. It's really simple, one just uh, needs to say that that item is uh, sold and that's all. It's really simple. In case uh, like for example you import from AliExpress or the uh, person you are buying from or uh, Amazon itself are not capable to provide the real documentation, you have to write down a letter of course in uh, Japanese uh, where you are going to declare that uh, the electric scooter that you actually purchased with that specific serial number uh, you are not able to provide this documentation, the Hanbai Shomesho, uh, but the reason why you are not able to do that is uh, something something. So what I did in this case is that, uh, uh, well, because I purchased from Amazon and Amazon is not uh, directly providing this uh, documentation, I include the receipt of the purchase itself. Also, uh, in order to uh, get this number plate, this is not enough, you need to provide the frame number of your motorbike. And for an electric kick scooter, we don't have a frame number. So what does it mean? It means that we cannot re register. No, you just uh, need to include the serial number uh, to uh, demonstrate that this is the item that you are uh, purchased. So remember, you have to write down this letter you have to include the receipt of your uh, purchase, or if you're lucky to receive this Hanbai Shomesho, this documentation, then you have to include some pictures that uh, help the people that are going to register for you the uh, kick scooter to understand what item you are exactly uh, registering. So in my case, I just took a couple of pictures of the kick scooter, a picture of the wheel, where the serial number, in my case, it's uh, uh, is written, and uh, 
and then I just post one more picture directly from the uh, Amazon page. With that in mind, you go to the City Hall, as I was mentioning, and they will register for you, and they will give you a number plate. Uh, with this number plate, you are ready, technically, to drive the scooter on the street. But it depends by what scooter you are going to purchase. So in the case of the Veroman that I have uh, purchased, I was lucky because, uh, first, uh, it comes with a front light and the rear light. And for the rear one, when you use the brake, it blinks. So it's going to uh, change the, the color. And uh, that means it's uh, okay to, to be used on the street. Also, uh, being a, a scooter, an electric scooter that uh, is exactly the same in terms of shape of the uh, Xiaomi, uh, there are lots of additional accessories that I can put in order to be compliance to uh, drive on the street. And what I'm talking about? Well, first of all, we need a horn. So the one that uh, chiring, chiring, that you have on the handle is not okay to, uh, to use. So I had to purchase a new one. And here is what I got. This one from Amazon. Um, I choose this for a couple of reasons. First, because it's not just a light, an additional light that I can use on the uh, scooter, but on the bottom it has the horn. So if I'm going to, as you notice, add this uh, uh, controller, when I click, I can use the horn. Second, it has a solar panel on top, so the internal battery can technically uh, charge automatically uh, when I'm driving. And in case uh, there is also a USB port that I can use to charge my phone uh, if I want to, uh, for example, utilize the uh, GPS while I'm driving. Then we need to purchase uh, the uh, winkers, the uh, yellow light that uh, uh, help people around us to understand which direction we are going. And here you have uh, uh, a couple of options. You can uh, connect them through uh, cables, uh, or as I did, I purchased a couple of bicycle tail lights that are working wirelessly. So I have my remote control on top of my handle, and then I put uh, this light, tail light, on front and on the back of the scooter. Remember, it's like a motorbike, so you have to uh, have this type of lights front and back. An additional solution can be that if you have a separate battery, uh, then you can convert to a 12 volt and uh, or take directly a 12 volt battery and then like a normal scooter, uh, utilize the lights from a scooter that are working on the 12 volt system. As soon as you got your number plate, please remember to uh, get the Jibai Seki. That is a, a kind of insurance that we have to uh, include if we want to drive our scooters. If you are going around, you see there is a little square stickers on top of the number plate with a number that simply explain when the expiration of this Jibai Seki is and you can get it at the convenience store. It's pretty easy. You, you go with your documentation about the uh, kick scooter, so your serial number, remember, because we don't have a frame number. And uh, with that one, you can easily uh, register and get your sticker. And that's all. No, there is one more thing that we need to purchase in order to be compliant, to uh, be on the street. And they are the mirror used for uh, being able to look uh, left and right when you are uh, driving. Now, as you notice, we have lots of stuff that we need to add, right? But uh, the handle of the uh, kick scooter, unfortunately, is small. We don't have so much space to add all of this stuff. So what I have done, I have purchased an extension tube that uh, uh, is going to be put on top of the uh, normal uh, handle and will allow me to have uh, a little bit more space. In this case, uh, 
the dimension of this stuff is about 20 centimeter. And with this one, I can add my uh, mirror, I can add uh, the additional light and horn, I can add also the uh, holder for my uh, phone. And with this one, yes, you are finally ready to, uh, to go. But uh, yes, there is one more thing, of course. At least here in Japan, we don't have uh, a number plate holder. But they don't sell it because uh, the kick scooter are not so popular yet. So what you have to do in order to keep your number plate uh, on the tail of the uh, kick scooter, well, I 3D printed uh, a number plate holder that will clamp on uh, the uh, scooter itself and will allow me to mount the uh, number plate. Uh, you can find it, you can download it easily. Uh, if you don't have a 3D printer, uh, I can send to you the, the 3D printed item. Just uh, uh, comment below and let me know. And that's all for this uh, uh, video. It's not uh, photography related, but uh, uh, if you guys are a foreigner like me living in Japan, I'm pretty sure that uh, it could be helpful because it's not so easy to find out uh, this type of information. And that's all for me, and uh, as usual, till next time, stay click. Bye!